Hey ladies and gentlemen, so this is a little quick review of cloth diaper systems. I do hybrid systems that allow me to use both cloth and disposable inserts and I really like that system because if I'm going on a trip or I mean, maybe a long trip and it might be difficult for me to manage um, with the cloth, I can have a disposable that's completely um, bio-friendly uh, and compostable and um, flush it or compost it however um, I see fit that's not available to do. Um, and my first baby, I used G diapers and I really love G diapers and I really, really had a lot of great things to say about them, including never having diaper rash. Um, this insert right here, keeping uh, skin dry. Actually, when it's wet, it does not feel wet at all. You feel the wetness. Uh, back here and so I'd put my finger back here to see exactly how wet this is because if I put my finger here it would feel dry to the touch um, and so uh, I really like that and appreciated that very much they're easy to clean um, and then there's the disposable insert that goes with it as well I really like this because at the time no other cloth diaper systems had uh, this kind of pouch thing with it and the pouch helped to keep explosions within it helped to um, keep heavy um, releases in as well and nothing will come through the sides so long as you got the fit nice and snug uh, the only problem with this is that these pouches always had to be changed out I never really got to reuse a pouch twice I would be able to use the outside twice um, but the pouch for the most part I always had to uh, switch it out especially if it was a poopy diaper um, which wouldn't you have a breastfed baby most if not all uh, diapers are poopy diapers rarely are they only urine uh, unless you have a really really wet night um, so yeah these were great and I enjoyed them and they're actually two sizes that you would purchase there's the newborn small and then the medium large and I actually bought two sets for each um, size uh, for my little one including these uh, the inserts they come in different sizes there's a small a newborn small and a medium large uh, which is probably about that much bigger um, I do use the medium large ones uh, inside by folding it a little bit um, with a uh, doubler with the, the soaker on the back uh, so I found that that became necessary uh, with using the G diaper system that I didn't need to have a, a soaker added on um, as the baby got bigger. Uh, so, and I do use the soakers now in the newborn phase um, for, for long nights. Uh, and that was great. Uh, the only problem with that is for the same price as the G diaper, actually a little bit less, this time around I found uh, the Grovia system. And these have an insert that actually already is a doubler, so I don't have to buy a separate um, soaker for the, the uh, inserts. Uh, so it's pretty much the same material as this one here. Uh, the back is a little bit different. It is a soaker, so it'll soak through to this side. And then it has a, a waterproof backing on here. Um, and then I like this also because it has this sort of flap in here that helps to keep blowouts in. So it's like edges. So it kind of serves how this serves to keep mess in. And then you get an extra protection of this elastic right here on the actual cloth cover. Um, having this with these sides increases my chances of being able to use the cover twice in a day. Um, because it keeps messes in sometimes not so much depending on how big the mess is I think that having the doubler on here actually increases the mess coming out um, which kind of sucks uh, because it's it's really thick uh, at times I do use this in there because I didn't have enough of these at the time uh, and for sure when I use these I definitely can't use the covers um, more than once because there's nothing there isn't this thing here to protect um, mess from getting onto this side but the good thing is that um, whether I'm using this to protect from mess or I'm using this uh, insert and this actually protects the mess 
we don't have anything coming outside uh, unless baby is positioned awkwardly in our arms or awkwardly in the chair uh, yeah so I really like this over the G diaper this time around because it has a really great feature on it where I want to buy this set of diapers one time I don't have to buy two sets or two sizes because they size themselves so this is actually the newborn small size and then I can do this right here I can open it up and I've got a small medium and a large size without having to buy a whole new cloth system which I can't say I can do with the G diaper. So it will cover up baby when they're big, when they're medium, and when they're infants without a problem. I really like that. It's the same Velcro closing, so you don't need pins for this cloth diaper system. Uh, I really like that this is a waterproof cover um, because this is not so sometimes we do have leaks with this uh, it's nothing major at all and it's nothing that would reduce the quality or my recommendation of G diapers it's just that sometimes you know sometimes it can be a heavy wet and it would not stay in the pouch and it will come out to the cloth uh, it never really creates a mess on clothing or anything like that um, the only time we really have an issue is overnight and like I said you can use the soakers for overnight situations which I actually prefer to use these diapers for overnights um, instead of the G diapers because of weird positioning tossing and turning nursing the baby from one side to the next um, positioning can be weird and then I'm sleeping half the time so I'm not really paying attention to or halfway sleep so I'm not really paying attention to how I'm positioning baby to avoid leaks so when he's wearing these at night I don't have an issue when he's wearing these at night with the tossing and turning there will be um, some bed weddings with that so I really liked the G diaper because when I learned about it it was sold as like a pant as opposed to having a diaper that you then had to put pants over and I really enjoy that because it makes dressing baby really really easy boom he has on his pants or his shorts in the summertime uh, I'm here in Texas, so it's nice and warm, and I don't have to worry about needing an extra pant over. And then I just put on a t-shirt over him, and we're done. Most of the time, it's just the G diaper anyway, or the Grovia diaper anyway. Um, the Grovia diaper is not as, not the cover isn't cottony, so it doesn't feel soft and smooth like clothing. It does feel more like a swim diaper. Uh, it's not plasticky at all. It's very fabric feeling. And I do like the breathable interior so that if um, for some reason if I'm using these inserts and we do get um, some wetness on the back side of it, that's where we feel the wetness, it would actually breathe through here and actually help to allow it to dry rather than just holding it in, which is what the plastic here does. The plastic will just keep that moisture in and not really allow the diaper to dry itself. Whereas this one with the mesh, there's access to getting air uh, into the diaper cover, uh, which is really pretty cool feature. Five-year-olds. Uh, so yeah, I have to say that this time around, learning about the Grovia, I do recommend the Grovia over this the G diaper. This is a swimming diaper. I only have the G diapers because it's what I knew from the first time I had <laughs> that one. I like the G diapers because <laughs> they're red. Yes, because they're red. Um, now that I know about the Grovia, I definitely recommend them because it is just, it just offers more in terms of flexibility, in terms of um, having options to keeping messes in. So, you know, I've got the elastic care. I wonder and then, why it's a swimming diaper. Because it's waterproof. And then you have the sides here, which act as this does here to keep messes in and the pad, the insert for it is already its own doubler. So, you know, I don't have to buy another yeah. doubler. Yeah. And this system is literally the same price as this system. Yeah. And um, 
I have to buy less. So I buy this one time, I buy this twice. The great thing about these, which I would recommend, is that um, if you can find a sale or you can find some cheaper inserts, the cloth inserts. Running out of diapers really fast. Yes, that's why we bought more. <laughs> if you want to buy extra uh, inserts, I um, recommend still getting these kinds because you can find these cheaper than these with the, the soaker on it. And then you can lay them inside the diaper really easily, just like this. Like this. Yeah, you can do it like Just like that. that, you just lay it on top. You do the same thing with the disposable. You just lay it on top just like that. You fold it over baby. Make sure the edges go around their and legs. You and do it like snap it this. with the Velcro. <clears throat> and I like doing this way in the daytime. Yes, yes, Because then yes. baby's bum isn't so thick from this kind of insert here. Uh, these inserts are best for the nighttime. These are best for the daytime to allow more mobility and uh, for baby to not be com to not be uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And also, I like these because, like I said before, with this kind of back and this kind of mesh, yes. it allows air in, so the diaper will kind of start to dry itself, so baby is not uncomfortable. Whereas this one, it's just gonna wet through here, then wet here. And then this kind of backing here is waterproof, mm -hmm. so it's not going anywhere. It's just literally holding in all that urine, and, and it's not it's drying. It's a swimming diaper! Did yeah. you hear it, everybody? It's a swimming diaper! Yeah. Also, because it's a swimming diaper, I wouldn't recommend using this thick insert for swimming, um, because then you're going to be holding baby down with all that extra moisture. I would recommend something like this. Or a disposable. I can't remember what I used with you, if I used the disposable or not when she was swimming. Uh, it's something I'm just gonna have to test out again this time around to see what's the best option. And I might post a video about it once they start swimming classes. And she messed up all my folding. Thanks a lot, Ivy. All right, anyway, so that is my review of these hybrid cloth diaper systems. Again, uh, nothing against G-Diaper, it's just that you do have to buy the system twice and the, um, the, the plastic inserts, they do wear down over time. So it's not that you buy the system twice, you actually have to buy these plastics maybe two or three times. Um, so I would recommend that you actually buy extras if you want to go with this so that you're not buying them, so you're not using them repeatedly because repeated use will um, make them wear down faster. Uh, so either way, you do have to buy more of these, Where again, with this. Yeah. So this and you're buying... more, more, and more, and more, and more, This more, one here, more, the Grovia. More, 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 more. The Grovia, you're buying the system one time, the cover yeah. and the insert. With the G diaper, you're uh -huh. buying the pant, uh -huh. you're buying the insert. Uh -huh. The pant does come with the plastic, uh -huh. but you have to buy uh -huh. the plastic uh -huh. over so you can have a stash yeah. of them as they wear down. Uh, so that's one, two, three items that you need to buy for G diaper. And then you have to buy the whole thing twice for the different sizes. This one, you're buying two things. You're buying the cover and the insert, and you're only buying it one time and you're done. And it's literally the same price. I mean, as you get to the fancy prints, the fancy prints get more expensive. Uh, but this fancy print, I believe, was either between 16 and $20, whereas the G diaper fancy print are 22 to $27. Um, the plain one being, I think, still about 16 to $20. These plain ones were $12, and these, I believe, were, um, between 16 and 20 dollars so it's actually cheaper for this more expensive for that cover and by comparison on these i'm not sure because these come two in a pack where these come six in a pack so i'd have to look up the price on that um the other great thing and this is how i learned about grovia is that grovia is sold at bye bye baby so uh, if i need more or if I'm out in the street and I don't have enough diapers for any reason, I can go to a Bye Bye Baby 
and get more of these so you can actually go to a store a major store and get them uh, if you have uh, small business uh, cloth diaper stores near you I always recommend you support the small business first um, but if you don't have access to that and you have access to a bye bye baby you can get the Grovia system especially if you needed like more inserts in, a, in a, an emergency situation when you're out with baby and maybe you don't have disposables or you ran out of disposables. Um, the G diapers used to be sold at Babies R Us, but they went out of business. So as of right now, I do not know where you can get G diapers in stores. I do not know if there are small business cloth diaper stores that carry it. Um, when I first started, I did not find anyone who sold G diapers. I could only get them online or at Babies R Us and so this also this fact also makes G diaper a little bit more difficult to come by uh, which kind of sucks because I really like the company when I learned about it I really like their mission and what they were about uh, the other great thing about G diaper is I love their inserts so even though I'm using the Grovia cloth system with their covers I still use G diaper disposable inserts um, the Grovia ones I do not like because they have plastic and that increases your chances of uh, diaper rash. Uh, the G diaper one, it's completely through front and back and the are exactly the same. There's no plastic within it. Uh, they're, the pads are super, super, super absorbent. I actually wet one, uh, it dried, and then it got wet again, and it was still holding its absorbency without leaking whatsoever. I really enjoyed that about it. It would be nice if they could add some elastic uh, to the sides but I think that would add some plastic to it um, to you know keep messes in but that's another another topic altogether the other great thing about the G diaper disposable inserts is that uh, you can use them as uh, uh, compresses so if you are uh, at the beginning phases of nursing and uh, your milk is just coming in you can actually wet these with hot water to help with any pain uh, and you can also throw them in the freezer to help with pain depending on whether or not you need heat or cold to help with any issues they're having this is the actual insert again these come in the two different sizes for the G diaper this is the newborn small size and like I said the front and the back are exactly the same it's super thin starting out and you'll probably get like this thick once it's completely filled up and for the most part we don't really get to the point of diapers completely filling up uh, simply because breastfed baby there and not every diaper is going to be a pee diaper or a pee sorry what I want to say is breastfed baby every diaper uh, is not only pee diapers usually pee and poop because they're not eating solids whatsoever all right so I've talked enough this is the system that I use. This is the system that I like. Um, and good luck in your cloth diapering journeys. I wish you no diaper rash and no leaks. And have a great day.